Hey guys, what's up? It's Paul with HobbyKing.com here. Today's daily, we are bringing you the new Avios RC Yak 52 models. As you can see, there's two different color schemes to choose from. We've got first uh, our HobbyKing.com version, which is uh, actually a scale model of the full size Yak 52 you guys saw at our UK Festival of Flight last year. And the second one is this nice military camouflage. Uh, version. Uh, both models are identical other than their color scheme, so they have the same specifications, which is a 1200 millimeter wingspan. They're 980 millimeters long, and they're all up flying weight with a four cell 2200 battery is right around 1560 grams. Uh, both models are all EPO foam. Uh, they are bolt together construction. The only glue required is some of the scale details, such as the fuselage antenna, the wing pitot tube, and then there is an underwing uh, radiator scoop. Other than that, it's all bolt together construction. Um, some unique features of the model is uh, just like the full size Yak, it actually has uh, the scale uh, freeze style ailerons, uh, which is very responsive. And the nice thing about that is, uh, in the case of the model, we have a piece of carbon in each aileron that doubles as both reinforcement and the uh, aileron hinge. And because of that, it makes it a very nice free hinge so it doesn't put much strain on the servos like you do see sometimes with uh, the foam skin hinge. Uh, some other nice features about the model is has full metal retracts. The entire unit is metal. Um, it has the scale uh, wide blade paddle propeller, which has been optimized uh, by our good friend Tom Hunt to uh, give good performance yet not draw too much current. Uh, the model actually features a 40 amp speed controller so we are able to keep it uh, fairly low current for a model of this size. Uh, as I mentioned when I was talking about weight, uh, we fly it on a 4 cell 2200 milliamp battery pack, though I've actually flown it on 4 cell uh, 1800 milliamp battery packs. Uh, and I find with mixed throttle usage you can expect uh, 7 to 8 minutes of flight of really good performance. Um, what you'll find is on the scale paddle propeller is uh, you can run a sport propeller and draw a little less current though uh, the full throttle setup on the stock propeller is right around uh, 41 amps on the ground but it unloads in the air uh, to give you a nice margin of safety. Uh, and speaking of propeller you will note those of you that are fans of the full sky of the full scale airplane. Uh, we have a standard rotation, though the full size Yak was actually a counter rotating prop. We did this since most of you guys have sport propellers already meant for a standard rotation. Just wanted to make it a little easier for you. And also on the propeller, uh, this actually features a central hub with replaceable blades. So if you break just one, you can just bolt a new one in. And uh, the blades have been molded out of high impact plastic versus some of the other scale propellers you've probably seen in the past were always. Um, just a cheaper plastic that just shattered the moment you touch the ground. So, nice little model there. Uh, when you pop off the canopy, uh, as you note, it is a nice long canopy. Uh, we have magnets both in the middle and at the end. Uh, that way, if the canopy bows just a little bit, those central magnets help hold it in place a little better. Inside is our 40 amp Aerostar speed controller you'll find in all the Avios airplanes. Um, rudder and elevator servos, and then uh, just access to your receiver. So for this model, because it does have flaps and retracts, you will need a six channel radio uh, to get it ready to fly. Uh, some other cool features are, if you do need to access uh, the motor, uh, just unscrew the propeller, which uh, is actually uh, held in place with a hand tightened spinner nut, and then pop the propeller off, and the cowl is held on with magnets. So you can actually access your motor in probably about 10 or 15 uh, seconds, uh, should you need to get into it in a hurry. Speaking of motor, it's a 36, 48 uh, 680 kV motor which we optimized to run on the four cell pack I mentioned along with the scale paddle propeller while keeping the current level down but giving you very high performance. A couple things I didn't touch on real carefully earlier was the control rods. All the control rods on the Yak-52 are a ball link style. Uh, here you can see uh, so it makes for nice precision and uh, no slop. We've got our all metal retracts. These retracts actually uh, retract to the scale angles, which uh, one of the cool features of the full size uh, Yak-52 was the fact that the gear was exposed. This was done for two reasons. One, for, uh, well not reliability, but I should say redundancy. Should the airplane ever land uh, in a gear up situation, it can still land on the main gear and not damage the airframe. 
And in addition to that, it actually provides an extra level of drag for downline maneuvers so you don't get that excessive speed buildup. We've faithfully recreated that with this model. Last but not least, a uh, feature I like is the scale split flaps. These work really well and with uh, an appropriate amount of uh, elevator compensation, you can actually get it dialed in so it comes in a nice uh, shallow angle with a slight nose down approach without building up uh, too much excess speed. What I like to do is I like to bring it in just on that edge of that stall, nose high, and just carefully grease her down on the main landing gear and then let that nose wheel settle in, uh, which makes for some fun touch and go landings. But pour the power on and she climbs like a scalded cat. So that in a nutshell is the new Avios RC Yak 52. Be sure to check it out on the new products page. It's available in all warehouses already. Uh, and as always, check out our YouTube channel for all of our other great daily videos. We'll see you guys next time.